Cliff Richard's backing group. Guitar player was Hank Marvin, who looked kind of like Buddy Holly. He had Buddy Holly glasses. Played a red Stratocaster. Can we get a little more Lawrence? A little more Lawrence. In the wedge, yeah. Um, first bona fide Beatle composition was Cry for a Shadow, written by John and George. Instrumental, inspired by the shadows. But didn't the shadows do stuff vocally too that was also? Later they did vocal stuff, but, but, but they were instrumental. I mean, they backed up Cliff, who was the singer. Right. Um, you know, I mean, pretty much they would have played surf music, but we didn't have any surf. <laughs> and, and what about then the whole idea of, of skiffle, as it is said? Skiffle, he's looking at you and he's looking at me. Skiffle, yeah, I mean, I remember Skiffle, Longy Donovan. Yeah, and, and what was one of the songs that we could probably get through so You know, Rock Island Line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock Island Line. What was that called? Rock Island Line. Rock Island Line. Oh, yeah. Rock. Anybody know that? Yeah, Rock Island You're going to have to push it back, aren't you? Oh, it was Dizzy with Chewing Gum Lose. It's played wrong with that touchdown. You can take your pick. Oh, my God. 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 How can you remember the words after 60 years? <laughs> <laughs> no sex, no drugs, no rock and roll. Well, like Skiffle was no drugs. English rockabilly. No, 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 Is that what it was? Yeah, it was kind of folk, <laughs> every, folky every, rockabilly. Every Skiffle who had a washboard, right? Yeah. And uh, I remember around where I lived, a lot of washboards went missing out of back kitchens. <laughs> <laughs> washboards and tea chest bases. Yeah. Thank you. 